My first overall play is going to be Daniel Jones over 16.5 fantasy score. In this video, you're going to find out exactly why. For anybody who is brand new to this channel, we teach you all about plus EV betting. For anybody who doesn't know what plus EV betting is, it just means profitable sports betting. We teach you many different ways on how to actually remain a profitable sports better by playing on these fantasy apps. And we're going to go over all these tips and tricks in this video. And if you stay to the very end of this video, we're going to tell you exactly how to profit today on tonight's Monday Night Football game as well, not, not only on prize picks, but also on parlay play. If you guys don't know what parlay play is, it is a replica of prize picks, almost, but they offer actually slightly better payouts for six man and shared slips. If you guys have not already signed up for parlay play, be sure to use code DGF for 100% match up to $100. And also in this video, we're going to go over what's called the correlation strategy in tonight's Monday Night Football matchup and go over all my favorite plays and why that correlation strategy will keep us profitable in the long run. But first, we must understand the basics of a fixed payout platform, a fantasy app like Prize Picks, and why the correlation strategy is advantageous to fixed fantasy payouts like Prize Picks. So let's go over the exact basics on how Prize Picks pays out and how they don't alter their payouts based on the type of players that you put into a prize pick slip. So let's use tonight for example. I have Daniel Jones, my favorite overall play, 16.5 over uh, for fantasy score. Let's now combine other players. Let's take Geno Smith. Let's take rush yards of Daniel. No, well, we obviously can't put Daniel Jones in again. Let's take field goals made, overs, and let's take, I don't know, um, rushing attempts of Kenneth Walker and... Matt Breida over uh, their yards, right? We will always get a fixed payout. This will never change. The only time when this changes is if you put all unders from the same matchup. Right now, we're looking at a fixed payout of six out of six getting 25X, five out of six getting 2X, and four out of six getting 0.4X. Now, if we were to remove this, or better yet, let's let's say that we put the unders here of these two players, these never change. And let's hypothetically say that I include other sports. League of Legends, sure, we'll take these two players, hit the over, under, sure, whatever. The payouts never change, as you guys can see. And this isn't just for six-man flexes. This is literally for every single slip type that you can choose. So to correct here, I get 3x. And if I take out Geno Smith and I put this guy in here, put the less of him, 3x, right? Same thing for three-man powers. Anyway, you guys get the point now. Uh, power plays never change. Flex plays never change. The payouts never change. And this is very, very crucial to know once we go into the correlation strategy. But why this is different from traditional sports books is because traditional sports books have dynamic payouts behind all their odds. And more importantly, when you correlate plays together from the same matchup, it's called a single game parlay. They adjust their payouts like drastically. And the reason that they adjust their payouts is because the percent odds to hit on each individual leg that you put in that single game parlay, they organically increase, right? So let's talk about this logically. Let's say Daniel Jones, I'm hitting the over 16.5 fantasy score. That means he's going to exceed expectations, at least over his median projection of 16.5, which means he's going to have a good game, right? If Daniel Jones has a good game, then guess who else is going to probably have a good game unless he's rushing the entire time, right? But generally speaking, if Daniel Jones has a good game, his star wide, his star wide receivers, his number one wide receiver is going to have a good game. Same thing with Hodgkins, and they're going to probably ball out because he's going to be throwing for a lot of yards, probably getting a lot of touchdowns, and he's going to be throwing the ball more often than not, right? So the receiving yards organically have a better chance to go over the better that Daniel Jones does well, right? That's called positive correlation. Same thing can be said with the opposite side of the ball. Let's say that we put in DK Metcalf. If Daniel Jones is throwing for a lot, that means that there's probably going to be more points scored overall in the game, which means DK Metcalf is probably going to be getting a lot more targets because there's probably going to be a shootout, right? So anyway, these are positively correlated plays. So let's go ahead and just throw in some more positive correlation, right? This payout never changed. But if I flip over the FanDuel Sportsbook, I'm going to show you an exact example here. The payouts always change. So now if I switch over to a FanDuel single game parlay, I put together a slip that looks relatively the same to the prize pick slip I'm going to give you. It's not the same at all because uh, Daniel Jones had over a fantasy score in a prize pick slip. Anyway, I gave somewhat similar props here in this single game parlay for, for FanDuel. And I want to show you guys the exact edge you guys can have here by just simply comparing single game parlay odds over the prize picks. So if we take Daniel Jones over passing yards, Geno Smith over 1.5 passing touchdowns, um, we take Darius Slayton over 40.5 receiving yards, Hodgkins over 23.5 receiving yards, 
uh, Jason Najigba uh, over 29.5 passing yards, and then Tyler Lockett over passing or receiving yards. We get average parlay odds of plus 2,290, which means if you put in $100, you get $2,290.79 in return. Now, let's flip the script here and say that we put $100 on a positively correlated slip, here just throwing in random numbers, we get $100 that pays out $2,500. And let's take it a step further and literally put in the exact same props that we just put on FanDuel, single game parlay, and put it into a prize pick slip. As you guys can see here, took Slayton over, Hodgkins, Najegba over, Lockett, Daniel Jones, and Gina Smith over passing touchdowns. And this is literally paying out $2,500, which is significantly better than, than FanDuel's odds. And not only that, you get insurance on top of this. So getting five out of six, you get 2X. Four out of six, you get 0.4X. Whereas on a normal sportsbook parlay, you get nothing if you miss one single leg. So hopefully you guys can see this provides way better bang for your buck. And the reason why we're not selecting uh, two-man powers is because the correlation organically increases these players' odds, but they increase them even more the more players that you put into a slip, right? So obviously having six players that are heavily correlated is a lot better than just having two. So we're also going to break down the math here, and I'm just going to show you organically why six-man flex slips and five flex slips provide better bang for your buck overall than two-man powers, and why it's even better to correlate these types of slips. So if we go into a two-man power, we're going to take the average um, casual sports better, who's always hitting at near a 50% mark. So if we take a projected win percentage of 50% and you're only hitting at 50% on each individual leg, meaning that if we head back here and you only hit Darius Slayton uh, receiving yards 50% of the time in the long run, same thing with any one of these other legs, the casual sports better hits at that average rate. If we're only hitting at a 50% rate, you're going to lose money in the long term in two-man powers because we show you the percent odds to hit on each individual leg if you hit at a 50% rate. Going 1 to 2 hits 50%. Going 0 to 2, you're hitting 25%. And going 2 to 2, you're hitting 25%. But given the payouts of only 3x, this breaks down to a certain break even percentage, right? So you have to hit at a certain percent odds to hit to break even because of the nerfed payout in two man powers. So let's take this a step further. What if I'm hitting at 52%? No, I'm still aver on average losing money. This going two of two to only 27% of the time will not be my break even. Uh, it's not going to put me in a plus EV bracket, right? But what if I'm hitting at 55%? No, still negative. But what if, and I only know this because I've done this so many times, what if I hit at a 57.75% hit rate, right? Then I'm breaking even. The break even percentage, you have to go two of two and uh, two man powers more than 33.33% of the time. Obviously, 33.35% percent you're barely breaking even you want to far exceed this but we've taken the math into consideration for six man and five man flex slips and i get it a lot of people don't like playing these slip types because they're technically harder to hit that's true obviously you're not going to hit five flex slips go five out of five or six man flex slips six out of six a great amount of time right but if you're going to hit over uh, 2.54 percent of the time getting six of six you're going to remain profitable in the long run you're just literally waiting for that big hit and same thing can be said for five flex slips you only have to beat going five of five 4.7 percent of the time to remain profitable in the long run and we're not even talking about getting your money back with insurance yet right so we break all of this down so i already know the break even percentages for these five flex and six flex slips but as you guys can see here the margin of error drastically drops from a two-man power down to a five flex or six flex slips you only have to hit your individual legs 54.21 percent of the time or greater to remain profitable in five man or six man flex slips now taking all of this into consideration you guys can see that heavily correlating plays not only provides better bang for your buck just in general comparing to single game parlays but also brings up these organic individual legs in terms of percent odds hit because if daniel jones goes over then his wide receivers are more likely to go over too right so by identifying the percent odds hit of these individual legs taking it a step further with correlation you can then break even a lot more times than you think so now let's walk through this i gave you guys a, a play at the very beginning of this video and that was daniel jones over fantasy score and this is the reasoning behind this okay 
Right now, we're taking all the player props into consideration over DraftKings, Barstool, Caesars, and, and Bavada. And we're taking all those player props and putting them into the prize picks multiplier. So if we head back here and take a look at the uh, fantasy score projection for Daniel Jones, we know that the sports books odds have odds behind each one of these players, right? Like uh, uh, passing yards, passing touchdowns, we obviously have odds for interceptions, rushing yards, all that, right? We're taking all that into consideration when deriving a fantasy score for each one of these sports books. So if the sports books have odds on, on fantasy scores, this is what they would set them at 20.2, 19.1, 19.6, and 20.2 for Daniel Jones. Those fantasy scores are significantly higher than 16.5. Like it's almost four points higher, which is freaking insane. So that is why he's my overall favorite play. And this is freaking crazy. This is where the DGF software takes this a step further and then heavily correlates based on plus EV percentages on individual legs. Let's now take a look. That's where the correlation tool comes into play. We show you the highest profitable, the, the most profitable slips with the highest correlation combos together. So let's take a, a look at a slip together. By the way, if you were tracking your results, this is all publicly tracked. You guys can head to this link in the description below. But if you were to track your results from August 18th all the way through today, um, and I, I, don't, I don't believe that the results recorded from this weekend, so it should be even higher because a lot of college football slips it, you would be up 141.2 units. For an, uh, an average $100 sports better, you would be up $14,000 plus in the span of just over a month. And also, if you're a $5 better, you're up somewhere between $600 to $700, which far outweighs the investment of this tool. We literally publicly track and we show you the results directly from this tool. So let's now take a look. As you can see, Daniel Jones is the most profitable play on the uh, Fantasy Optimizer. And we show you that 16.5 hitting the over is one of the best individual legs. Now we correlate with all these other players. We do all the hidden math. We show you the hev heaviest correlated combos together and then pop that out in terms of an overall slip. You literally just look at the correlation tool and you take individual slips based on the correlation, the highest profit margin and the highest correlation score. The closer to 100 shows you the heaviest and highest correlation. So 85.95, only 15 points off of 100. So very heavily correlated. And again, we've already talked about why these players are heavily correlated, but let's go ahead and just talk through it now. This is the slip that it popped out here. Daniel Jones over 16.5 uh, fantasy points. Darius Slayton over uh, 8.5 fantasy score we talked about this before if daniel jones is doing well then that also means darius slayton is more likely to do well his fantasy score is set to 8.5 so we're gonna be taking the over on both of those and same thing with geno smith hopefully it's a high scoring affair very close that means geno smith is gonna be throwing the ball a lot more over 17.5 then isaiah hodgkins for the giants najigba over seven and then tyler lockett over 12. And as you guys can see, this is a very heavily correlated slip. And this right as of right now, given the odds and given before the bumps, because we, we should see Daniel Jones get bumped closer to the lock. This is the most profitable, heavily correlated slip. And the edge is simply because this is a fixed payout platform. And these odds, these payouts never change. And that's completely different from a traditional sports book. As you guys know, by learning earlier on in this video, that single game parlay odds are always adjusted, not in your favor. The traditional sports books know that correlating plays together increases your chances organically to hit on a parlay. So they decrease the payouts, but fixed payout platforms do not. And that is the edge. So yeah, this is the slip. This is the most heavily correlated slip as of right now. Our DGF software is scanning every single minute to ensure you that we're giving you the most profitable slip. And as you guys can see by playing, Eat every single slip since August 18th, you would be up a lot of money. And the correlation tool does exactly this for every single fixed payout platform. We're now going to talk about Parlay Play. One of my favorite apps um, might even be more favorite than uh, Prize Picks at this point. Just given their payouts for six man insured and six man non insured, which Prize Picks doesn't offer, you get paid out 40x for going six to six. Perfect for a correlation tool like this, right? So let's go ahead and talk through this next slip on Parlay Play. Again, if you haven't signed up for Parlay Play, be sure to use code DGF for 100% match up to $100. Let's now reveal what is in this slip. We're going to go over passing touchdowns for Geno Smith. Daniel Jones over passing yards. Oh, we have two under punts. Under, under Slayton and then Metcalf. All right. And we actually threw some punters in here. The software identified the punters as being a greater edge in terms of positive correlation. Because if you guys think about it, if this game is very close, if it's very high scoring, then the punters are more or less likely to punt, right? So we're hitting the less on these uh, under four punts. 
And quite honestly, I love having uh, punters in my slip. I've hit on so many 40Xs, not so many, but I've hit on like three or four 40 X's uh, through punters. So very heavily correlated as well. And again, the reason why it's identifying these punters as being a, a great positively correlated combo is because parlay play sets their projections differently from prize picks. And they're a little bit too aggressive according to parlay play on their fixed payout platform. But that's it, guys. Those are the two slips. That is what I'm writing in this Monday Night Football matchup between the Seahawks and the Giants. If you guys did enjoy this content, please do be sure to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and of course, smash that like button for all of our future NFL content. With all that being said, have a great rest of your day, and let's cash.